it's almost certain that decentralization is here to stay. Bitcoin started this whole industry by disrupting what was perceived as money. Suddenly, banks and other payment services and other financial services weren't needed on this side of finance. Ethereum introduced smart contracts and challenged the necessity of third parties in our day-to-day -day activities. This gross magnitude now almost covers every aspect of our online activities. The crypto space can now only grow from here, and this is a statement that most of us agree on. One big industry that is certain to benefit from the immutability of blockchain is the supply chain and international trade. Morpheus is a niche protocol. It's a middleware platform that connects emerging technologies and legacy systems to create one big efficient platform. Morpheus Network uses blockchain technology to create a transparent and efficient platform to streamline and automate the global supply chain. It utilizes blockchain such as the permissioned and permissionless as well as sidechains to utilize the blockchain's decentralized advantages while maintaining the security and privacy of user data. A brief list of functionalities the company's middleware provides for enterprises are Ops in document handling system, the management of the chain of custody for documentation of production, processing, and all handling stages of a product are in one place to save time and resources for enterprises. Secondly, it helps in digital ID, Products involved in a transaction receive a new level of transparency from vendors to buyers because the item is equipped with multiple types of scanning tech. 3. It helps in fraud prevention protocol. The Morpheus Network software is stamped by SAP SAP, which certifies its software as proper fraud prevention protocols. And lastly, it helps in big data analytics. All supply chain data points are located in one place to facilitate monitoring to increase supply chain performance and deploy proper algorithms for optimization. As a middleware, the Morpheus platform is blockchain agnostic, which results in needed interoperability between different chains and technologies. In the crypto world, things are very uncertain and there is also a high speed of innovations. So being a middleware is the best way to adapt. Chainlink saw massive growth during the peak of DeFi not because it provided the best APY, but for being the most used middleware protocol. And I believe the most used supply chain middleware platform will end up as one of the most valuable platforms in this industry. Let's look at some of the associations, some alliances, and some partnerships that Morpheus Network has. Morpheus is a member of both the Enterprise Ethereum Alliance and the Baseline Protocol. Morpheus Network integrates with over 100 industry technology. These key integrations facilitate swift settlements with traditional banking worldwide and allow the platform to incorporate the layering of blockchain and other technologies to be included as necessary objectives in a given workflow. The integration platforms are many, and these include DHL, UPS, Oracle, Salesforce, SAP, FedEx, and many others. It has partnered with MASH. It is the world's leading insurance broker, and the risk advisor is now available in over 130 countries. So MASH is a huge huge, huge deal for the insurance and um, supply chain industry. And now they have partnered with uh, Morpheus Network. Now let's look at something that is very, very important to me. And I hope it's important to you too. That's the MNW, the Morpheus Network's token. It is an ERC token. The token is built on Ethereum. But like I've said before, the platform is cross-chain, is chain agnostic. Is the utility token on the platform? and it is used to pay for data storage, notarization, and exchange. So now, as a user, there are two functions of the MNW token. First, it is used for automating processes, and secondly, for notarizing all transactions and data sets. If you wish to buy MNW, you can get it on Uniswap, KuCoin, Gato.io, and Bitrex. I recommend you move them from the exchange and store it on MetaMask and other wallets that will let you own your own keys, like popular saying goes, not your keys, not your tokens. So please try and take advantage of that. The recent announcement regarding Masternodes has moved the price from around 50 cents, like I last remember, to now it's trading close to $1.90. The team's medium post outlines the Masternodes taking process. On December 1st, the node operators will receive a login which they can connect to their personal wallet and start to stake tokens. In addition, those operators will have 21 days to set up their stake before the program starts. The APY is around 18% and it will be paid at 1.5%
each month. Node operators must meet all of the minimum node requirements for a minimum of six months, after which they will receive their first node fees. Subsequent node fees will be distributed every three months thereafter. The team has committed about 1.5 million tokens to secure the network and to contribute to incentivize people. The token requirements for each master node is 1,800 MNW and an individual can stake up to 200 nodes. This means an individual can stake a maximum of 360,000 tokens. That's a lot of tokens, and at current prices, it's going to cost a lot. But you can just go for one node and stake 1,800 MNW. There are other requirements that you need to be aware of, and these include you need to have at least 1,800 MNW, like I've stated, have a minimum of one hard drive and one processor core dedicated to each master node. So if you have like the maximum, which is around 200 um, master nodes, then you will need one processor for each and also one hard drive for each. You will need a minimum of 500 megabytes on available hard drive space per master node. Have the master node on an internet connection with at least 10 Mbps bandwidth upstream and 25 bandwidth downstream. Keep the master node online and operational no less than 99% of the time per month so you need to make sure that you're going to stay online all the time and i feel like these requirements are going to be very difficult for most people but as time goes on people are going to build platforms that will help others to just um run their master node through their infrastructure they will take your fees be connected to the internet to enable more views and its customers to access the master node services with a minimum of 99 percent available as measured on a monthly basis so guys in summary there are certain things that you need to be aware of before you can run master node you need the 1800 per node and you can stake up to 200 nodes which brings the total tokens to 360,000 tokens you will need 500 megabytes available hard drive space per master node and you will need one hard drive for each there is something that i have to talk about and that's regarding the new european scientific foresight they had a study on blockchain for supply chain and international trade and highlighted the reasons digitization and decentralization are requirements for a new and efficient supply chain and international trade systems. The study examined the market readiness and potential impacts of eight promising use cases for blockchain technology in supply chains and international trade. The use of blockchain technology might also facilitate small and medium-sized enterprises, the SMEs, to access trade and trade finance and help consumers to access product information, potentially enabling more ethical and environmentally responsible choices. So now regarding readiness for market, each use case has achieved a minimum level of credibility in the form of a technical proof of concept, a larger pilot study, or in some cases, early commercial solutions. There are no major technical barriers to the use of some types of blockchain solution for some elements of trade. So this is what is published on European Parliamentary Research Service. So guys, this is very, very important. There are some key takeaways for Morpheus Network that I need you to be aware of. One of them is Morpheus is a global supply chain middleware platform. It is blockchain agnostic and it helps in bringing both the permissioned and the permissionless together. It provides companies with shipment and item visibility for optimizing and automating supply chains, which saves money and time. And also the global supply chain industry is valued at over $15 trillion. The World Bank has redefined supply chain efficiencies as the number one world problem to solve to stimulate economic growth. The MNW is the lenses to use their platform. If you intend to hold MNW for the next few years, then let's look at this together. According to Statista, size of the global supply chain markets worldwide from 2020 to 2026. In 2020, the supply chain management market was valued at $15.85 billion and is expected to reach almost 31 billion by 2026. In 2020, Germany's SAP was the leading supply chain management software supplier with revenue of around $4.4 billion as an alternative solution that boosts efficiency. In my opinion, Morpheus Network has the opportunity to be a major player in the space. If they become a top solution provider, that will mean hundreds of millions of dollars in today's market. But because of an incoming significant growth in the entire space, Morpheus Network might earn billions of dollars in revenue. All payments on the platform require the MNW token like, like I have said before. This massive increase in the token's demand will only result in one thing, a huge 
price increase. The current price of MMW gives a market cap of less than $100 million. The maximum supply is 47 million tokens. In the next five years, if the team's goal of integrating every essential aspect of supply chain into the platform and enhancing efficiency is achieved, then it will have a market cap valued in the billions of dollars. That is what I see coming. And at $10 per token, using the maximum supply, the market cap will be around $470 million. And at $100, a market cap of $4.7 billion. I'm not going to do a lot of price prediction where I'm going to talk about the thousands and the tens of thousands, which all of these are possible. The reason I'm stopping at $100 is because it gives it a market cap that makes a lot of sense and people don't need to scratch their head to get. In a bull market, $4.7 billion for a crypto that has the potential like MNW is very easy to achieve. So guys, this is what I wanted to talk to you about. Please let me know in the comment section whether you agree with me or if you even disagree with me on something. Please be specific and let me know what you think and also please don't forget to subscribe and to hit on the notification bell and like the video it will help it rank better and many people will get to see this video and know what mnw is all about take care bye